Maurice Sinek's Little Bear, lost in Little Bear's room. Soon the tent was finished and Little Bear sat inside. He was all alone. Mother Bear, he called, can you bring Fisherman Bear to me? I feel lonely in my tent. Mother Bear said, I can't find him. Come help me look, Little Bear. Little Bear crawled out of the tent. He looked under the bed, but there was no Fisherman Bear. Mother Bear said, let's try the toy box. And so they looked inside, and there was nothing there. The toys were all on the floor. Let's put the toys back in the box, said Mother Bear. Then maybe we can find Fisherman Bear. Right, said Little Bear. He liked that idea. There were toys everywhere, but Little Bear found his truck. Mother Bear found it. Look, Mother Bear, here's my little goblin. He was sitting in a sand pail. Good little goblin, said Little Bear. He gave it a hug. Little Bear, are you hungry? asked Mother Bear. Yes, said Little Bear. I am hungry, and so is Little Goblin. Then let's have lunch, said Mother Bear. Mother Bear fixed a very nice lunch. Little Goblin sat at the table, too. Little Bear took Mother Bear's paw and said, I wonder where Fisherman Bear could be. Mother Bear said, I'll ask Little Goblin, and she held the toy by her ear. She smiled and gave him back to Little Bear. What did he say? asked Little Bear. He said that Fisherman Bear is in your room, said Mother Bear. Let's clear the table, then we can look some more. They cleaned up the kitchen, and Little Bear took Mother Bear's paw and said, let's hurry. Mother Bear laughed. You're too fast for me, Little Bear. Back in his room, Little Bear looked in the tent. It is so empty, he said. It needs Fisherman Bear. Mother Bear said, let's put some toys in the tent. That was a good idea. So they put Little Goblin in the tent and some other toys too. We need some books, said Little Bear. There are books downstairs, said Mother Bear. Let's bring some up. Maybe Fisherman Bear is downstairs, said Little Bear. Mother Bear laughed. He could be, she said. I'll look in the kitchen, said Mother Bear. I'll look everywhere else, said Little Bear. First Little Bear looked by the piano. Fisherman Bear wasn't on it, and he wasn't behind it. Then there were chairs and the sofa, but there was no Fisherman Bear. I feel so sad, said Little Bear. To his mother bear. Come sit on my lap, dear, she said to him. Mother bear sang a sweet song to little bear, and he began to feel sleepy. You need a little nap, said mother bear. I'll take you up to your room. So mother bear carried little bear to his room, and she put him on his bed. The pillow felt lumpy. Little bear sat up. He moved the pillow, and there was fisherman bear. He had been under the pillow the whole time. Fisherman Bear, cried Little Bear happily. You never even got out of bed. I'm so glad to see you. Fisherman Bear got a big hug. Mother Bear laughed. Let's all go back down to the kitchen, she said. And so they all went downstairs and had hot cocoa. It was Fisherman Bear's favorite drink. <laughs>